Nothing compares to the Uber ride <laughs> today. <laughs> Nothing compares to my Uber ride from LAX, Los Angeles, <laughs> International Airport, to my buddy's house. I get in the Uber. N- nice woman. Normal woman. Yeah. Normal person does not appear at all right. to be a little chunky. She looked like oh, oh is someone that could be a, a relative of mine. Right. Okay? Yeah. Nice lady. Decent car, nice new car. Nice whatever. Chevy little car. Yeah, yeah. Little SUV. Get right. in the back. Hey, you got a charger? Hey, Tim, I don't. But if you have a cord, I got a port. Okay, I got a cord. This time I have a cord. Put it in. You know, 10 minutes. I'm just listening to some music. She tries to talk to me a few times. So I said, you know what? I, I like talking. So I just take the headphones off. Yeah. And I start getting into it with her. We got, I, I look at the, the phone. We got 48 minutes. 48. <laughs> oh, God. So I say to her, I'm like, hey, how are you? She's like, good. She's like, where are you coming from? I'm like, Austin and New York City. She's like, oh, you live in New York? I'm like, yeah, but I'm moving here. I'm going to split time and everything. She's like, oh, that's cool. Are you traveling on business? I'm like, well, I kind of live here. You know, my business and personal, it's kind of the same thing. She's like, oh, that's nice. She, I'm like, do you live here? She goes, yeah, I live here. I live by Inglewood. She goes, I've been living here six years. Oh, that's great. She goes, yeah. She goes, I come from a little tiny town in Florida called Perry, Florida. She goes, it's known for hunting. Just a cute... Nice conversation. And she goes, you know, I had to leave. She goes, because you know how small towns are. You grow up, you know the same people. They know you as one thing, but you want to be other things. And I'm like, yeah, I'm getting into it now. Right. Like, I feel that too. Yeah. I I feel the same way as you do. She's like, you know, I'm, I'm a goofball. I joke around. But she's like, but the reality is I'm not only that. I want to do other things. She's like, when I was a young kid, I was an, an actress. I went to modeling school. And she's like, because there's, you know, there's, there's agents in Florida. I had an agent in Florida, but it's hard to get one in L.A. I'm like, the business is fucked. You know, now me, right, I'm getting, right. I'm like, yeah. it's all over the business. <laughs> you don't understand. You know, I'm getting going. You're like 15 minutes specials. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm lo- you know what I mean? I'm in now, hardcore. I'm like, thank God I have this Uber driver. What a sweet woman trying to reinvent herself. Right. And. You know, she's talking to me about Florida. She's like, you know, I, you know, I was a server in Florida. I worked at the Olive Garden. I'm like, you like the Olive Garden? She's like, yeah. I was like, I was always a Fridays guy. She goes, well, Fridays was always 45 minutes away. You know, she's like, I preferred Applebee's, which is, you know, she's, you know, she's like, yeah, this is a, yeah, this is a small town, yeah, yeah, girl from Florida, from Perry, Florida. She goes, I'm working about eight or ten hours a day. She goes, I met my boyfriend here. She goes, when I first moved here, I had to move into low-income housing. I'm like, I get it. It's fucking, it's, there's a housing crisis right. in L.A. Yeah. She goes, so I met my boyfriend. He was a security guard at the building. So we, we just started talking, and I invited him over one night to stay, and he just never left. And I'm like, that's great. You met someone you cared about. Right. She's like, yeah. And she goes, we're living with his mom now. You know, we're looking for a place. I'm like, that's, you know, it's okay. I'm like, keep her happy. She's like, I do. I do errands for her, right. whatever she needs. She's like, we think we're going to move to Vegas, you know, you know, because it's cheaper there. And I'm like, go where it's cheap. You don't want to work. She goes, I can get a two bedroom for 900. I'm like, that's it. She goes, I can have my friends stay. Yeah. And I'm like, great. This is great. Just go. Listen, you don't have to be wedded to any idea of what your life is supposed to be. I'd love to start over in a new place where I don't know anyone. I just can't because I sold my soul to this bit, you know? Yeah. And she, she's like, <laughs> she's like, I bet you're really funny. I'm like, oh, I'm funny, baby, you know? Right, right. And, and she's so sweet and nice. And she yeah. goes, you know, I'm going, she goes, I'm working extra hard this week because I'm going down to Florida and I want to see my friends. So I want to make sure all my bills are paid and I want to make sure that, um, I want to make sure that I have some extra money to spend when I go out with my friends. I said, well, that sounds great. And she goes, I'm also going to see my son while I'm down there. I said, well, that's nice. How old is he? She goes, he's 19. I said, 19, you know, that's an age. You know what I mean? Yeah. I said, what's he up to? She goes, he's, get, he's in a little bit of trouble. I'm like, well, 19, <laughs> you know how they are. Yeah. When I was 19, I was a hooligan. I was smoking weed, running around, not paying my bills, licenses suspended. I get it. 
What's going on with him? Smoking a little weed, getting a little crazy? Not in school, doesn't know what he wants to do? She goes, yeah, well, he's, he's incarcerated right now. <laughs> he's incarcerated right now and in the county jail. He's been there about a year. I'm like, oh, all right, oh, you man. know, hey. Yeah. Was it drugs? She goes, well, he just fell in with the wrong people. And I said, that's always the way. It's so hard. Right. You can do now. I'm thinking about you know she's talking about getting an apartment for 900 in yeah. Vegas. I'm like, well, this, uh, things are percolating, but she's so sweet. Yeah. I'm like, well, she's a sweetie. This is a woman. Who, she had a kid young. It's very hard. The fucking life is tough. Yeah. I look at the I look at the phone. We got about we got 21 minutes left. We're in the final stretch. <laughs> so yeah. I said I said to her, we're talking, and she goes, you know. He's incarcerated, and my mother visits him every other week. His father never wanted to be a father, so he doesn't really visit him. And I go, yeah, you know, I said, it's tough. I go, so what's he in there? Was it like a fight, drugs or something? The car goes silent. I go, an uncomfortable amount of silence. She goes, rape. Uh, it's a rape. <laughs> and I go, I, now I'm trying... Because we've had this very positive conversation about right. life affirming and moving and changing and evolving. Yeah. So I said, oh. She goes, yeah. But she goes, three of the girls, they already say their testimonies are inadmissible, but they're going with the other two. I said, three? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on. Three of, three of the women? She goes, yeah. Because one of them said he did it with a knife, and that's not Justin. Justin wouldn't do that. Justin wouldn't put a knife to someone's throat. Oh my God. And now I'm in the Uber, and we're talking about the Olive Garden five minutes ago. We're talking about her getting an apartment in Vegas and how, how nice it was. She wanted to evolve and explore who yeah. she was in L.A. Yeah. And I'm like, so your son is a serial rapist <laughs> at 19, and he's been in jail for a year in Florida? She goes, well, he's got a public defender, and she goes, she goes, you know, women lie. And I go, I bet some do. I, I bet some do. I, I bet some. And now I'm like, am I on a show? <laughs> am I on some type of thing where I'm going to be fucked now? So I'm trying to make very cautious statements. I'm like, well, human beings are, uh, you know, they're prone to, you know, I mean, it's. Yeah. She goes, some of these, these, these girls are lying. Okay. So, so I go, and she goes, there's going to be a trial soon. I said, oh. Okay, and she goes, but he's in Polk County, and Polk County, Polk County, um, you know, it takes a, a while. She goes, but she goes, here's what I think happened. She goes, he had sex with two girls, and then she goes, I think they felt bad about it afterwards, and then they went and said that it was rape, yeah. but it was a, you know, she goes, it sounds like a threesome to me. So I said, well, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm now like, whoa, -ho. <laughs> why did, why not have the headphones in? <laughs> And I'm like, uh, I thought it would be, if it was a time to just put my headphones right in and just, but I'm like, I'm in now. I can't get out. So I'm like, I don't know what to say to that. I go, well, you know, I mean, he's in jail for a year. Like that sounds, that sounds like there might be something to it. Yeah. You know, I mean, again, I'm not a uh, law enforcement um, person, Yeah. but he's in jail for a year. She goes, you know, they really drag their feet over there and uh, they only let them out for an hour a day. And I'm like, okay. So we finally pull up to the house, and I go, well, listen, I, I hope it works out. She goes, yeah. She goes, listen, Vegas is cheap. I'm like, well, the other thing. <laughs> the other, I mean, I know that you've moved on from your son, but I'm still invested because I just met him 10 minutes ago, and I hope that this works out. And she goes, I should have I had him move to L.A. with me. She goes, but he's, he's anxious. He has anxiety. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So Timmy gets <laughs> to his buddy's house, and Timmy goes on the Googles. I said, let me go on the Google. I said, I wonder if I'll be able to find this guy. I said, I wonder if I'll be able to find this gentleman. Yeah, see some more info. Okay, I it. said, maybe I won't. You know, I'm just going to Google Polk County Rapist <laughs> and see what I get. Okay? Okay? Okay. Polk County deputies say they've arrested an 18-year-old serial molester who's accused of raping and molesting girls aged 12 to 15. Oh, my God. 
12 to 15. Two 12 year olds, two 13 year olds, and a 15 year old. His arrest affidavit says he snuck into the girls' bedroom windows, pinned one down in a park, threatened one with a knife, and threatened to take matters into his own hands if a victim refused to meet him. It sounds like a threesome. (laughs) It's cheaper in Vegas? You needed to leave a small town because you wanted to grow as a person? Sounds what? Like a threesome. Your son is a serial molester <laughs> who's raping people at gunpoint, and you're talking about you're doing fucking, fucking motivational fucking self help book shit Jeez. in the car. God. She did tell me before I got out. She goes, you know, he was touched on his father's side. That's why I always tried to keep him away from his father's side. So this poor guy, and I I don't mean that because he's a demon. But he was probably fucked, right. and now he's raping and molesting people. But dude, you got to remember where this conversation started. Her telling me, I left that small town in Florida because I just wanted to realize my dreams. Yeah. And maybe my dreams aren't a career. Maybe I'll never be a great actress, but you know what? I can really challenge myself and discover who I want. Your son <laughs> is a serial rapist <laughs> who's raping children. And you're telling me that you want to go and do fucking... I want to go back to school for cosmetics. I want to work on set. Because I want to work on set doing makeup. We learned... She goes, I took a summer course. We learned a lot of stuff. Special effects, everything. It was really cool. Yeah. Huh? (laughs) Your son is holding knives to children's throats in Florida. And you're talking about makeup that you want to be on set? She goes, I want to do men's grooming on set. I'm like, I don't, what? Is that even a, anyway, let's get back to your rapist son who's terrorizing a community. And I read more about him. Supposedly he hangs out outside of the middle school. The sheriff's like, this guy's a terrifying, dangerous member of the community (laughs) who needs to be like lock and key. Right. And she's like, he was on probation for touching a kid before yeah. he got arrested for this. And she's like, I'm just tired of the small town vibe. She's <laughs> like, you know, people in the small town, they just, they never see you for what you can become. I'm like, wait <laughs> the a minute. Mother of a this was a very sweet conversation <laughs> until we brought up your son who's raping everybody in Florida. Holy shit. One Uber ride, bro. One Uber ride. One Uber ride. And I started, I took my headphones out as I started to talk to her. I'm like, man, fuck all these people that don't want to talk to their Uber drivers. It's not right. Right. These are people. You should talk to them. They have stories. I'm a comedian. I'm a podcaster. I, I thrive on stories. And I was right. But <laughs> I was like, why would anyone want to put their headphones in and not speak to another human being right. in the car? Yeah. 30 minutes later, we're talking about. This guy. And I'm like, where, where? So I'm like, you've been here six years. He's 18. Six years ago, he was what, 12? Yeah. The dad doesn't want to be a dad. Where are you? Is he with your mom? Yeah. You're out here taking makeup courses? Yeah. While this kid's running around in and out of mental institutions? Right. This is what she said. She's like, he's been in a lot of institutions. I was, dude, I was like fucking. It's insane. It was crazy. It's like a Florida project, Mom. <clears throat> yeah, I felt like it was kind of surreal. Yeah. Because she was so detached, and the front part of that conversation was so different. Right. And right after she dropped me off, I guarantee she picked somebody else, and she's like, yeah, we're thinking of going to Vegas. Mm-hmm. We're just going to Vegas. Mm-hmm. I hope that's how every Uber ride she does starts. It's just a little cheaper. We just want to save money. We just need each other. Right. We just want to love each other. It doesn't matter that I didn't make it as an actress. I like doing makeup. I like people. And I bet it, for most people, it doesn't get to. My son held a knife to a 12-year-old's throat. Right. And I had to leave Florida. <laughs> God. I was just like... Because she neglected to mention, she was pretty forthcoming, but she neglected to mention that these were fucking children. Yeah. He's climbing in the window of people's right. houses like a fuck, like Jack the Ripper. Yeah. I don't even know if he did that. I think he got people in alleys. <laughs> I don't even think he did that. Who's doing that? Who's climbing in a window 
with a knife. People want to debate what is and isn't rape. I'll tell you what's rape. <laughs> Definitively. <laughs> Climbing in a window with a kitchen knife <laughs> into a sleepover <laughs> is fucking rape. And you choose to leave those details out? Yeah. You say it sounded like a threesome? God. Really? You think it's just a survival instinct for her to have to I casually think disconnect? She's, I think she's disassociated. Yeah. I think she's split her personalities up almost. Yeah. I think, like, I really believe, dude, the beginning of that conversation, she was talking. She's like, you know, just small towns. They really, people put limits on you. I had to cut ties with a lot of people that I knew. Right. I'm like, yeah, because your son raped their kids. Right. <laughs> the people putting yeah. limits on you, you know, like yeah. the police. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, a lot of people put limits on you, the coroner. <laughs> The medical examiner. <laughs> a lot of people, they just didn't want to. They didn't want to really see me as the person that I could be, like a person who moves to California and ignores the multiple felonies my son commits. God, dude, I was <laughs> fucking. Dude, Uber rides are nuts. Sometimes people tell you shit because they know they'll never I, see you. I'm again. telling you right now, it was that's my craziest Uber ride. That's my craziest. Good God, Uber ride that I've ever had.